This is 47 and a half years, um, and, and it's been wonderful. I've always taken the view that the group I served was the, board of, was the school board, okay? They're the people who hire me, potentially fire me. Um, the, the people I really serve are the kids. I mean, you, and if you don't, you know, if you can't get past that, then we really can't have much of a conversation. But clearly, the political leaders that I work with most closely are school board members. But I have to be cognizant of the members of the Board of Supervisors, too, because we're a fiscally dependent school system. We don't get to raise our own taxes. So school board members can't go out there and make their case with the public on why the millage ought to go up or the tax rate ought to go up. Public schools are, are so woven into every aspect of community life that what we're doing affects every aspect of community, affects business life. I mean, you know, when we sit down with business people and we say, what can we do, what can we do working together to help kids be better prepared for their future? Um, you know, that, that's, that's where we need to be, not throwing rocks at each other. We get surveys back, um, you know, here we are, a school system of 70,000 kids, 10,000 employees, and we get people who talk about the family nature of the school system, that they feel like they are part of a big family. I'm thinking, boy, you are part of a big family. I mean, 10,000 employees. That doesn't happen by accident either. We work to make that happen because we don't want people to, to look at their job as a paycheck. You know, I want every person who works in our school system to see the nexus between the work they're doing and the children. And now, you can get a lot of layers of adults in between, but fundamentally, if you're, if you're changing tires in the garage and you don't understand how important what you're doing is to the safety of the children who ride those buses, then we haven't done a good job of, of stressing to you that importance. That, that you're not, and I don't mean this pejoratively at all, that you're not just a mechanic, you're not just a cook, you're not just a secretary. I, I, I cringe whenever somebody says to me, well, you know, I'm just a teacher. Well, you're just a teacher, you know. Hey, the whole world depends on teachers. Um, there are no just A in, in, in the school system. I say to people, and I mean this sincerely, if you can look back over a career as long as mine has been and say if I had it to do over again, I would do exactly the same thing I did. I think that's remarkable. Um, you know, if you're still getting up every day excited about going to work, um, I think that's remarkable. So the opportunities that I have had, sometimes because I was in the, you know, a lot because I was in the right place at the right time. I mean, I could have been living in a community where the schools never grew and nothing ever changed, but my goodness gracious, Loudoun County is, it's a new place every five years. But, and the big but is, it never loses focus on who it is, I believe. I think there's a fundamental root system to what it means to be in Loudoun County.